I'm not giving up body paint completely, but I'm pretty much transitioning back into clothes. So the body paint is going to be not my primary thing that I'm going to be doing. So um, I'm going to be coming up with a clothing line. Um, I'm already developing it right now with a manufacturer and everything. And um, I'm just pretty much going to be an all-around artist. I'm just going to be a, a, a household name artist like, you know, like a Picasso or Keith Haring or Basquiat, any of them type. That's, that's, my, that's my end goal is to be like that and have product lines and, you know, wallpaper, custom wallpapers and cribs, interior design, everything. Just being an all-around artist and, um, yeah, I mean, you know, um, everything that I do, um, it's not because of, because of, I mean, part of it is because of my um, ambition and because of my hustle, but, um, you know, I thank God for blessing me for everything that I have, you know. Uh, without him, I wouldn't have anything. Um, the only thing is with me is that I have to um, keep focusing that and and um, and not, you know, because you know once people get more money and, and more more fame and stuff like that, they lose sight of things and they start glorifying themselves. I just don't want to lose lose that. I don't want to lose myself because I know that, you know, like like I became a celebrity body painter. I worked for Meskine. I've done all these things. I said I was going to do these things and I spoke into existence. Just like I'm going to get back in the clothes. I'm going to make a lot of money on clothes and be a known you know, household artists, I'm gonna do the same thing. So um, I just don't wanna lose myself. I wanna always keep God first and never lose sight and give give him the glory and, um, and um, you know, just live right. Um, part of body painting, body painting, every, like sex cells. And um, originally it wasn't because of, um, my, me doing body painting wasn't because of, you know, like me wanting to show, like it's gonna be a wow effect. It was because of the arts and I lost sight of that. And I seen like my videos going viral because of a booty clapping, because of Panda and all that. And, you know, it, it was able to get exposure faster, but um, I don't want, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want, I don't want to be like completely into the sexual stuff. Like, you know, you know, over sexualizing, you know, like with body pain and everything. I just want it to be art and, you know, um, and be, you know, just be, uh, just have a pure heart and just, you know, good business and everything, so. Are you tired of body painting? I'm tired of um, what it comes with. Uh, I'm tired of, I'm tired of copiers getting the same recognition as me. <laughs> like, you know, like, I, it's it's like, I charge what I charge and um, then there'll be another body painter come that copy my work and they'll be like, if I charge like a thousand, they'll be like, oh, I'll do it for $50. And people don't know the difference between good art and bad art, you know, and they don't care. They want to be cheap. So, you know, that that's a headache. Yeah. So, you know, um, I mean, I like I, I'm tired of painting kind of girls in the club and stuff like that. I actually come up with a cool concept, concept building. I like stuff like that. You were part of Mesquine Originals, which was a clothing brand. Mm -hmm. uh, why did that fade out? Why did that die out? Mesquine Originals died out because out during the time period I was working for them near the end of the time and near the end of Mesquine, um, celebrities and rappers and stuff started coming up with their own merch, and you know with that, clothing brands had to start doing campaigns and stuff with artists where they had to actually pay an artist to do like put put on their clothes like Coogee or Ed Hardy and any of them brands. They started having to pay. Artists to wear marketing, you know, like advertisements. And um, Mesquine didn't want to do any of that. Um, we Our competitors were people like Coogee, Ed Hardy, LRG and stuff. And they were consistent with ads and Complex, Double XL and stuff like that with, with ads in magazines and stuff and billboards and stuff, rap trucks. Mesquine didn't market anything like that. They expected me to, somebody like me to come to Atlanta and get a shirt on a celebrity in a music video and make affect sales just from that. No, it, we had, it had to be consistent. And, you know, all of that played in a part of the downfall and, um, you know, just fell off, you know, eventually. And it's unfortunate because, like I said, we were probably the most exclusive clothing company ever created. And we did more, more original pieces, mastered production than anybody. Six to 7,000 hand painted shirts a week. You know, um, it's a lot of, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of clothes to do it by hand. You know, and every celebrity has worn our stuff in that era, like Diddy, everybody, Jay-Z. Everybody knows what Mesquine is in that little era. Knowing what you know now about how that transpired and the way clothing works today at this point, that doesn't phase you uh, working on your own 
specific clothing brand? I just learned. I just learned from what the mistakes that Muskeen made, and it was because it was greed. Um, we started pumping out just the same stuff over and over again. That's another reason it died out. And um, they just wanted sales. It, it wasn't really like um, genuine customers. Like it started just being like a replica, replica. We started. Oh, another thing is that. You know, if a brand like Crooks and Castles or a Bape or something came up with a concept like the 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 um, Bape uh, monkeys all over the hoodie, or the Crooks and Castles came up with the Medusa gangsta Medusa with the bandana, we would we would we would be two or three we would be two steps behind and copy the concept in our own way. We 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 stopped being original and started doing like rep, replica. Uh, um, you know, we started doing a, 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 our apparel like that, not the hand painted stuff. And it just we just was behind and 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 eventually just. People wasn't looking for Muskeen no more. And I learned from that. And, you know, what I'm doing with my hand paint is going to be way different than Muskeen. It's going to be cleaner. It's going to be more limited. And you put a value on whatever you you put your value on your product. Muskeen put their shirts for $67. I'm going to make my shirts $150, $200. And everybody likes expensive stuff, so, and it's original art.